You know, it's funny how and where places form. Not ha-ha funny, this is about history, sorry. Some of you might find it dead boring, but I love it. And this place, if you go back far enough, this place was forged by war. Mm. Before that, it was all just marshlands, south for the river, lower marsh, see. And then they built a bridge. They, they, I always love that, who the fuck is they? At a strategic bend in the river. I like that, a strategic bend. What do you build to remember a shared collective trauma, the loss of so many people? Well, they build statues mainly, don't they? For future generations to bow at or try to pull down. Well, after the Battle of Waterloo, they built a bridge. To where? They didn't know. Maybe they hoped that the bridge would make a place the other side. But that wasn't the point and they didn't care. The bridge was the point. But then, and I like this bit, other people decided that the first thing that should be built here, at the end of the road leading off the bridge into nowhere, that the first thing would be a playhouse. That this would be a place for plays. And the first theatre had lots of different names. It started off as the Coburg, then became the Victoria, and then the Vic. And then many more came. There was a young to complement the old. And it was war that rebuilt the bridge to reinforce it for war, a second world war, a second bridge. And they, I like this bit. For some reason, they hid the fact for ages that the bridge had been rebuilt almost exclusively by women, because all the men were away. The ladies bridge, they secretly call it. And there's a moment actually Politics warning, sorry. But there was a moment around here, a new government, a new hopes for a new kind of country where they thought that art might play a central part in people's recovery, in people's lives. The getting together in a space and telling stories makes a place then maybe that's what you build after a war. And in fact, I like this bit, how they expressed this idea. We need not only high exports and old age pensions, but more open air cafes, brighter and gayer streets at night, later closing hours for public houses, more local rep theatres, hotels and restaurants, brighter and cleaner eating houses, more riverside cafes, more pleasure gardens, more murals and pictures in public places, statues in the centre of new housing estates. I really like that. That happiness was policy for a while. Theatre is a bridge, like a bit, when you think about it. It transports you to somewhere else, reaching across to grab you. And so they built it. They built the idea in hard concrete. I mean, you can see it. Uh, a, a hall for the festival and then more, more theatres along the river, a dance hall and cinemas growing and growing more and more. This place, there's something about this place, the old marsh that's fertile for stories. They can grow here, hence this place, the tunnels, the places dug beneath the bridge, the places where most of us begin on the fringes, where I began, the places where you hear your voice bouncing off the walls for the very first time. Wasn't that a thing during the war? Dig for victory. Maybe theatre is a tunnel as well as a bridge. Tunnels get you under something when you can't get over. 
Tunnels are sneaky. You can smuggle people and ideas through the darkness. Tunnels echo with rage and resilience. I will find a way through. A strategic bend. We said we were going to build it back, didn't we? And maybe we will. Theatre should be a bridge. But when it's not, you can always just fucking dig. <laughs>